Hello everyone. Welcome to Chennai Tech Square. In our previous video, we discussed about the lab setup that we are going to create for Ansible. In today's video, we will see how to install and configure Ansible on this virtual machine to establish your connectivity with AWS through REST APIs. For Ansible to connect with AWS, we need an user account to exist on AWS environment for which I logged into AWS using my credentials. I now I am into identity and access management. I am creating an user account. I name, I name it as Ansible an user and this user account type should be programmatic access. It means that it can only perform remote administration using REST APIs. Uh, and it will not have AWS management console access. Now that we need to assign a pro proper permission to perform the remote uh, administration tasks. So I'm provide I'm giving uh, full administrative access for testing purpose. Review create. Now that the access and secret key are very crucial, which needs to be applied on the Ansible configuration file. So we have to take a copy of the secret key. So once we click on the close button, we will not get the secret access key anymore. So it is very important to take to take a backup of the secret and access keys. I'm taking a backup now. Once done, click on close, then we can proceed with our next steps. Now that we connected into the Ansible virtual machine, first let's update the system with the latest packages using yum update y command. Yum update y. My system is up to date. Next, we should ensure that EPEL iPhone release package is installed on my virtual machine. RPM iPhone Q EPEL iPhone release. EPEL is, I'm sorry, there is a mistake. Yeah, EPEL is nothing but extra packages for enterprise linux now we all set to install ansible using yum command we all know that it will automatically install the necessary dependencies together with the ansible packages yum install ansible iphone y In my system, the dependencies like Python and YAML packages are annually installed. That's the reason it's not installing those dependent packages now. Okay, now the packages are installed. Next, we have to set the intent for Ansible, which is very important for creating Ansible playbook. For which, we have to create a hidden vmrc file under our home directory and configure the auto intent settings as follows vi and my home directory dot vmrc set ai is nothing but auto intent set ts equal to 2 is nothing but tab stop so when i execute when i click on tab it will move the cursor to Two spaces. Set et is nothing but expand tab, and set cursor column will highlight the current line in every window wherever the cursor moves. Now that we have installed Ansible, created a user account in AWS IAM. 
Next, we need to configure Ansible in order to establish a communication with AWS using REST API to automate our AWS tasks and services. For which, first we need to create the Ansible configuration file under user's home directory with some default values. Under my home directory, ansible.cfg. We are going to discuss in detail about these configurations in our upcoming videos. So we are using the default uh, uh, values. So we are so we are configuring the inventory path, and uh, we configure the remote user as Ansible underscore users, which was created in uh, uh, AWS IAM, and we just configure the log path. Next, we should create a hidden dot AWS directory under the users home directory. and create a credential file update the file with the secret and access keys that we have copied during aws user account creation process next a config file under aws directory should be created to provide the output format as in json and the default aws region as eu central one where my ec2 instances are running Next, we have to create a variable file with the YAML syntax, which will be called in the actual Ansible playbook. Here we have given the AWS access, secret and default region details. Here is the actual Ansible playbook which gets facts about my EC2 instances running in AWS. Let's see how to execute the Ansible playbook. Before we run the playbook to, get to see actual results, let's run a dry test to ensure the syntax in the YAML file is correct. The command to check is ansible-playbook my playbook name followed with iPhone iPhone syntax iPhone check. So I missed C syntax iPhone check. Now it returned with no errors. For testing purpose, let me add an extra space in my YAML playbook and try to run the syntax check command again. Okay, let me run the syntax check again. See, it says there is an error in my playbook. As mentioned earlier, the intent in the YAML playbook is very important. That is the reason we have configured the auto intents in VMRC file. Ensure you create that VMRC file before we create any Ansible playbooks. Let me correct the file again and execute the playbook and see if it gets the facts about my EC2 instances. Checking the syntax. No errors. Yes. Now Ansible is connected with AWS using the access and secret that we have configured and collected the complete information about my EC2 instance like public, private IPs, region, where the instances are running, volume ID and etc. You can see, so this is my public DNS, my private DNS, IP address, DNS name on the IP address my VPC ID, my public IP, my volume ID, 
So these informations are so crucial when we need to automate any stuffs in AWS. Okay, that's it on this video. Stay tuned to watch more such videos in our channel. Please subscribe and continue watching. Thank you.